Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've seen a lot of content and rumors going around about some kind of new challenger goblin, so I thought it was my time to chime in as a Mopar channel and address all the details, looking at what we know from the past along with new recent information. Here's a video outline looking at why Dodge is making this car, when it will be released, rumors about the features and what we can expect performance wise, and talking about the hints that Dodge has been giving away weekly. So let's get right into it. So first to catch you up to speed if you weren't aware, Dodge has confirmed that the current Hellcat powertrain would be built through 2023, and then the new Dodge cars would be electrified or possibly using twin-turbo Hurricane inline-six engines by 2024, moving on from those gas-guzzling Hemi powerhouses. 2023 is also the last year of the Charger and Challenger as we know them, with their Hemi powertrains, so Dodge is doing a series of special edition Last Call Buzz models. Six of them have been unveiled already, the Shakedown, Swingers, Super B, Black Ghost, and King Daytona. The final seventh will be this Challenger Hellcat that Dodge has been waiting to show off for months now. Dodge basically wants to go out with a bang with one last special edition variant as a swan song before it's gone. So before getting into the details, we do know that Dodge is doing a worldwide reveal at the Roadkill Nights Vegas event on March 20, 2023, so we don't have to wait too much longer to see this car. Note that this final Hellcat was supposed to be revealed in November at the 2022 SEMA show, but Dodge CEO Tim Kaniskis told the press before the show that product and supply challenges caused the need to reschedule. Later on, Kaniskis clarified the situation, saying that Dodge had been testing a new modified Hemi V8 for this Challenger Hellcat, and they ran into some problems, as seven of the test engines have suffered catastrophic failures by blowing up when pushed to their limits. He wasn't so reassuring about a fix, saying, quote, I think we've got it figured out if we don't blow up any more engines. We think we got it fixed, but I am still holding my breath. End quote. So by now, it looks like they fixed those issues and they're ready to go. So to look at what we know so far, I have been talking about speculation for this model for months, and earlier this year, Mopar News broke the news that claimed that the SRT division had been secretly working on a factory E85 fuel-capable Hellcat, and this has picked up steam by multiple sources. One of the garage doors on Dodge's Never Lift 24 Months of Muscle Calendar also has a bottle of alcohol on it, which can refer to the ethanol gasoline blend of E85. We don't know yet if this will be implemented like the Demon with a separate engine control unit and a button, or if it will be a real flex fuel tune that automatically tunes for the fuel that you put into the vehicle. So we will see the 6.2 liter high output Hellcat motor under the hood, but it could get upgrades like that E85, and also like a 3 liter supercharger and 3.17 inch pulley from the Helephant Hemi crate engine that allows for more power. To discuss some other rumors, I've heard some say a 426 Hemi engine could be under the hood. After all, the 426 Hemi crate engine was unveiled at the 2018 SEMA show, called the Helephant, and it was a monster 7 liter supercharged Gen 3 Hemi with 1000 horsepower and 950 pound feet of torque when running on 93 octane pump gas. But Kaniskis already said that it would be a Hemi V8, and of course that big old 426 wouldn't meet the emission standards in 15 different states that use the California Air Resources Board standards, so that's not going to happen. As for possibility for a name, Stellantis filed for trademark protection in the US for the Tomahawk name on June 23rd for automotive applications, but that seems like something for the future. However, we definitely can't forget about the Tomahawk V10 motorcycle concept from 2003, or the SRT Tomahawk Vision V10 Hybrid that was a video game car. So now let's analyze all the teaser clips and hints that Dodge has given us. They've started to give these leading up to the last call Roadkill Nights Vegas event. There have been four clips so far, I'm not sure if there's going to be a fifth, but we're going to discuss all of them right now. So the first clip shows a leprechaun that's hooked up to a medical drip bag and being affected by the liquid running through his veins, and he transforms into a bigger, meaner version of himself. So this could have so many meanings I don't even know where to start, and I think that's intentional from Dodge, just to get some discussion going. Many have called this character a goblin, so a lot of people think that's what the name of this variant will be. Hellcat, Demon, and Goblin. Others think this leprechaun only shows you you have to be lucky to get the chance to get one. His eyes turn from red to yellow, so that can symbolize the name of a more dominant beast that overtakes the red eye. The red eye was one predator, and there might be another yellow-based predator. Could also be that the yellow boost was E85, with the yellow fluid to represent corn. Mopar website Stellpower looked up the evil leprechauns through Irish genealogy, and they found that that evil leprechaun is closely followed by the Banshee. We know that's the propulsion system for the 2024 Dodge Charger EV, 
so that could also symbolize that car's release after St. Paddy's Day. We also saw the yellow electricity transform the Leprechaun, so when the bag of gasoline runs out, possibly the electricity follows in a more powerful way, symbolic of the transition of the end of the Hemi era and the move to electrification. The second clip feels shorter, showing the original Leprechaun on a weight scale next to the one that became transformed, a bigger, scarier version that's weighing in at 7.1 pounds heavier. The weight difference is obviously unclear, but it could mean the E85 fuel is more dense and heavier than gasoline, but it is by a slimmer margin than 7.1 pounds. It could also represent 7.1 pounds more boost over the current setup, so that would mean 21.6 PSI of boost on the E85 over the current 14.5 pounds on the stock Red Eye, Demon, and Super Stock. And with that much boost, maybe it could explain why Dodge is blowing up those engines during testing. The third clip is short again with some numerical clues. The title reads, quote, Scream at 215 miles per hour, end quote, which suggests that you need to do something to unlock that top speed. And if it is the top speed, that's the fastest Challenger ever, as the current Challenger Hellcat Red Eye Widebody tops out at 203 miles per hour. A math equation also gives the output of 1,582, which I believe could represent the combined intake airflow rate in cubic feet per minute. The 2018 Demon had the largest air induction volume of any production car ever, with 1,150 cubic feet per minute from features such as the air grabber hood. The Demon already had 18% more airflow than the standard Hellcat, so this would be a 38% increase over the Demon, which does seem kind of unlikely. However, that device being held is an anemometer which measures airflow, so maybe it does work. The last clip just unveiled today is titled Hemi Vice, giving us one more hint. It features a beefed up leprechaun using a V8 powered jackhammer, and we can see a digital display with the numbers 2538 PSI. So this suggests that the engine that might have that Helifant 3 liter supercharger would produce just over 25 PSI, or it could also refer to the maximum cylinder pressure that the engine produces. The other hint was during Dodge Speed Week this past August, the car there had a cover on it, teasing us with a license plate that read 1 Fast 29. Going back to our 426 Hemi talk, that could refer to a 2.9 liter supercharger. So now just to cover some performance expectations, this had better be over 900 horsepower, because the combination of the pre-stage, stage 1, and stage 2 kits for the Hellcat Red Eye already produces 885 horsepower, all available from Mopar's new direct connection catalog. That includes a handheld tuner, performance air filter, 180 degree thermostat, 3.17 inch elephant pulley, and several high performance calibration key codes. Sources have been saying that Dodge sent out a special invitation to some demon owners to the see the unveiling, so it's likely that this new Goblin, we'll call it, could be more powerful than the 840 horsepower Dodge Demon. Many think the number might be 909 after 707 on the Hellcat and 808 on the Demon on pump gas. I'm sure Dodge would love to hit the 1000 horsepower mark as well, but many sources do indicate that might be a bit too far-fetched. Either way, we wait eagerly in anticipation for March 20th. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about everything we discussed today in the comments down below. And if you have any other insights or thoughts about those Dodge teaser clips and trailers. Also, make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content and updates, especially on this Goblin or whatever it ends up being named. And I'll see you all in the next video.